you're a baseball or softball player who wants to learn how to throw the ball harder, here's one of our favorite throwing drills for helping teach kids how to throw harder without actually giving it max intent. We call this drill the long toss ladder. So we do this drill after the athlete has had a thorough warm up and has completed the throwing drills that we've prescribed for them that vary depending on the mechanical issues we're trying to fix and work on that day. Where the goal is to take the feel of those drills that we're doing and try to add those feels to their regular throws. And the way we set this up is we take the athlete's hardest throw that they've ever had. In this case, my daughter's best throw is a 67 mile an hour throw. And we take 10% off of that to come up with the goal of how hard we're gonna try to throw that day. In my daughter's case, that means she's gonna work up to about 60 miles an hour. But we don't do that right away. Instead, we want to do a slow buildup of 30 throws to reach that number. So a simple way to do this is we set up a radar gun behind the athlete and instruct them to throw a ball at an arc like they were playing long toss outside and ask them to start at a velocity 10 miles an hour lower than their goal for three throws each. So for my daughter, I would ask her to throw three throws at 50 miles an hour. Then she's when she's done at, at 50, we do three at 51 and three at 52, moving up a mile an hour every three throws until we get to three throws at 60 miles an hour. Using the radar gun to guide her intent does a couple of really key things we've noticed. First, it makes sure she doesn't just throw way too hard way too soon. Second, 30 throws that end with her working up to 90% of her max is a great way to build arm endurance without overtaxing her. But my favorite thing about this drill is that even when the athlete's going for a lower number, because we're tracking everything, sometimes they'll do things accidentally better than they did a rep before. Or maybe they're shooting for 55 mile an hour throw and accidentally throw a 59. When that happens, it's usually because the athlete did something mechanically better and it's an opportunity for us to ask them what they're feeling so they can try to feel it again. Where if we didn't have the radar gun on every throw, they wouldn't end up making that discovery and finding those feels that help them throw harder. Now, obviously this drill is just one of the many types of training drills and workouts we use to help athletes throw harder. It takes a lot more than this, but if you don't live close enough to come into our Lacey Washington facility, I did put together a free presentation on how we design throwing workouts and our hitting workouts that you can get a free copy of if you click the link in the description section of this video.